They are called water villages, makeshift squatters colonies perched above the sea. And they're home to tens of thousands of illegal immigrants from the southern Philippines and Indonesia. Between 1980 and 2000, Sabah's population shot up from 900,000 to 2.5 million people. Non-Malaysians are now the biggest single group and more than one quarter of the population. A Royal Commission of Inquiry is examining this huge population increase and whether thousands of mostly Muslim foreigners were illegally fast-tracked to citizenship to boost support for Malaysia's ruling party. Testimony so far strongly suggests that did happen. In a short uh, period of time, they come to Sabah and they become nationals. And when they become nationals, they become voters. Now that changes and displaces our voting pattern in Sabah, whereby our future is no longer decided by us. This woman, living a short boat ride from Sabah's capital, says she came here from the southern Philippines 40 years ago and now has children and grandchildren born in Malaysia, but still no Malaysian papers. How could we go back to the Philippines? My children couldn't live there. Here, with 30 cents, city cents, you can eat. But over there, it is difficult. These children arrived from the Philippines just two years ago. With no papers, they can't go to school. The incursion by dozens of heavily armed men from the southern Philippines on Sabah's east coast in February exposed just how porous Sabah's borders are. And the fact that the insurgents come from the same region as many of the Filipinos living in Sabah raised concerns about a backlash against the illegal migrants. There's certainly been a hardening of attitudes toward foreigners in Sabah in the wake of the incursion coupled with the revelations at the Royal Commission into Sabah's staggering population growth. Maybe we should consider, but very limited, very strict and extremely uh, careful when we make that decision to citizenize them. The problem that Sabahans have is the group is too large, it's too huge. People should take pity on us. We are not bothering anyone. We are just trying to work and survive. Malaysia's government has said it will launch yet another crackdown against illegal immigrants in Sabah in a few weeks. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Sabah, Malaysia.